gas loads are complete. And Wendy, fuel bleed complete. And Wendy, engine chill is complete. AFTS is ready for launch. Ground gas closeouts are complete. Falcon Heavy is in startup. Stage two, present for flight. T-minus 30 seconds. Launch director on countdown one. SpaceX, Falcon Heavy, go for launch. Falcon Heavy is configured for flight. T-minus 15, stand by for terminal count. And nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, Persona. Side boosters are now throttling back up to full Vehicle power. Has maximum dynamic pressure. We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up, we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation two and a half minutes into flight. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. Major event coming up Second with course, side booster down. shutdown and separation. And so shut down. Side boosters. Beacon. Center. South and up. Successful separation. We're coming up on Miko and shutdown.
Coming up on bearing separation. separation. Center core side engines. On power, also look good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was awesome. That's the only thing I can <laughs> really I am, that's say Absolutely right now. wild. Absolutely wild. Wow. I, I got nothing else. Oh, man. Uh, recapping all the great things that you just saw there. Uh, successful liftoff from the pad, successful stage separation. But before that, successful booster separation, you can see stage one. Uh, the two side boosters, pardon me, you can see the center core and you can see MVAC lit up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> then the beautiful shots of uh, Starman chilling in the Tesla Roadster. Uh, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Um, <laughs> on, on your screen at the moment, uh, you've got a few things happening. On the upper right, you've got MVAC D continuing its burn. Uh, on the upper left, you have the center core headed back towards the autonomous spaceport drone ship. And in the two bottom screens, you've got the side boosters headed back towards Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zones one and two. Uh, the next step coming up for the side boosters and the center booster uh, is the re-entry burn. Uh, that's going to slow it down from uh, or slow all the boosters down from way faster than the speed of sound to just faster than the speed of sound uh, in order to reduce some of those aerodynamic forces and heating that occurs when you're moving that quickly through the atmosphere. And as you can see on your screen, that reentry burn for those two side boosters have begun. The side boosters entry burn is shut down. Side core entry burn is over. The center core in the upper left of your screen performing its own reentry burn. You can see the, the edge of Cape Canaveral in uh, both of the side booster cameras as those are coming in. Yes, and PY and NY side boosters have saved. Center core entry burn shutdown. Uh, and even though those look very similar, those two boosters' uh, views, those are actually representing different boosters. Um, and they're heading towards Earth. They're about to begin their landing burns. We'll hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. Both side boosters transonic. And watch for the landing lights to play at the tail end of that landing. Board. And that landing burn has started. Both boosters looking to be on track towards their respective Both landing zones. Both boosters landing have started. Side boosters landing legs have deployed.
out, check on your screen. Three Sometimes this footage three. goes out when it approaches the drone ship and the heavy vibrations make it lose signal. We're crossing our fingers, that's not the case right now.